Hey everybody. I'm in the classroom right now. It is actually Wednesday, May 6th. I had to come in here and clean up everything and put it all away. Because, I mean, my classroom was the way it was when we left. It's like March, whatever that was. Something. So, here's the deal. I needed to make this video so that you can see these four scenarios. There's four different scenarios that I'm going to show you. And you're going to have to sketch a picture of what's happening. And it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you a little picture for it. But sketch a picture of what's happening. Sketch a motion map for what's happening. And sketch a force diagram for what's happening with the forces labeled agent object like I showed you in that previous video. The one that you were supposed to have the assignment turned in like uh, Monday night maybe, I think it was, by midnight. Some of you still haven't done it, but that's kind of been, well, it's kind of been standard for some of you. So, what I have here is a go-car. Go-cars are amazing. Um, they are, oh, that's a bad, this must be a bad one. I wonder, whoa. Okay, yeah. I may have to go grab a different car. But these suckers are ultra, I mean, it's still going. Ultra low friction. I mean, it goes and goes and goes. Ultra low friction. So we're just going to pretend in this case, that this is as low a friction as you can get. Like, no friction here. Okay. Oh my gosh, the camera's too, too, too high. I mean, low. But I don't know. I mean, I'm too tall. That. All right. Low friction. I'm going to go grab a different one because the other side, that's a little, uh, that sounds a little off. Ultra low friction. So I'm going to say no friction forces here. Okay. It's not enough to even worry about that there, that there would be friction forces. So I would say no friction forces here. Let me get in a different car. Oh yeah, this sounds way better. Okay, now it's called the go-car because it goes, right? You've already seen the go-car because that's what was going down the, the ramp when we did the that, that little demo in class. All right, so this is scenario one, okay? Scenario one, right here. Go car is sitting on one of our tracks here. It's just sitting there. So you need to sketch that. Sketch a little line as a track, and then below that, well, you'll write out go car sitting still. Below the picture. And then below that, you'll draw a motion map of what it looks like. Now, where is the zero position? I don't care. I mean, maybe zero position is over here. Maybe it's right there. I mean, I, however you want. I, I don't know that it really matters. So, oh, wait a minute. Is this going to be, is this going to be a mirror? Like for when you, oh, oh, when you watch this, I wonder if you're going to see it backward. Because right now, it's backward. It's a mirror. Because that is the right side of the board. But I'm pointing to the left side of the video. Like when you look at this, oh gosh. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how this is going to work. It, 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 I don't know if it flips the video so that it's correct orientation. Like if my shirt is reading backward to you. Because right now, looking at my screen, my shirt's backward. It says Adelot, not Toad, Edo, Od Lot. Anyway, pause the video and do all that. Sketch the scenario right here. Track, car, describe it. Go car, sitting still. And then below your little sketch, do a motion map. And then below, on the other side, do a... Uh, what's that called? Um, force diagram. I, I even I sketched this up. Although I don't know. 
this is yeah so he, something like this okay so go car sitting still and then a motion map and then a force diagram something like that that's kind of what your sketch should be like all right so do do that now that was scenario one hopefully you've paused the video and you did that and now maybe you're back because after you sketched all that out now scenario two. Oh, scenario two is one of my favorites all right Scenario two, go car, it's going to start off camera, like you don't even see it right now. Scenario two starts when you first see the go car, right? When you first see the go, 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 easy for you to say. When you first see the go car come into frame, that's when the scenario starts, right? And then what it's doing out here is the scenario. All right, here we go. You all ready? Only when you first see the go-kart. That's when the scenario starts. Now, it, it ends when I, when I have to stop it. Otherwise, it's going to run off the track here. So that was scenario two. All right. So here we go. Now, what do you think that motion is? Like, what kind of motion is the go car having at that moment? One more time. Now, I don't want you to say fast or slow or words like that. Is it constant velocity, do you think? Is it speeding up? Is it slowing down? That, that, that kind of motion description, that's what I'm talking about. One more time. That seems like it's pretty constant. It's definitely not getting faster, and it's definitely not slowing down. I'm going to stay out of the frame. That's, that's constant. So, for your description on that one, you might say, Go car, moving with constant velocity. And again, a motion map that shows that, and a force diagram that shows that the go-car is moving with a constant velocity. Notice there's nothing else in the picture with the go-car because it was just the go-car on the track. Now, did something happen off frame, off camera? Of course something happened off camera, but that's not the scenario. The scenario only starts when you see the car. All right? So when you're looking at forces acting on the car, you can only talk about the things you see with the car during the scenario, which is only only when you see the car moving across the track with a constant velocity. That's all you saw. You didn't see anything else. All right, that was scenario two. Pause, sketch all that out. All right, scenario three, one of my favorites. I am using one of my badges as a force probe. Here's how this works. Force probe. When you push on things with a force probe, oh, hold on, look at that, look at that attractive guy. Wow. Um, when you push on something with a force probe, it bends. Look at that. And the harder I push on something, the more it bends. So if I push really hard, real, ooh, that's really bent. If I just push a little bit, it's just a little bit bent. But as long as I'm pushing, I'm exerting a force. Agree? Here's scenario three. This one does start as soon as I say, like, go or whatever. All right. So here it is. Scenario three. Here's what's happening. Notice I have a force probe here, and I'm about to start pushing on the car. I'm going to try to keep it constant. I'm going to try to keep it a constant amount of bend as I push the car. Here we go. Oh, card slipped off. I got to do it again. Try to keep it con a constant bend. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about how fast it's going. I'm thinking about, as I look at my card here, or my force probe, I mean, I'm trying to keep the bend consistent. 
I don't want it to bend more, I don't want it to bend less as I'm pushing. Now, I'm hoping you can tell, even just by the sound of the car on the track, that something is happening here that wasn't happening before. I hope you can tell that it's getting faster, right? You can tell that, right? It's getting faster. So, one more time. Again, I tried to keep the card bent about the same amount, which means that I'm pushing with a constant force with the force probe. And so again, here's what you might say about that. So the go car is now speeding up with the go with the, with the force probe pushing it. So write that down, pause this, write that down, and then sketch this and sketch that. So pause it and do that. Sketch all this on your in your comp book. Pause it. Do it. Scenario four. Here we go. Scenario four. I'm still using my force probe, but this time the car is going to be moving like it was in scenario two. So it's going to be doing this, but then I'm going to actually push on the car to try to stop it. So here we go. Here's the scenario. Here's number four. Oh boy. Scenario four starts when the force probe makes contact with the car. All right. Again, I'm going to try to push with a consistent, constant force. So the car bend should stay about the same. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. That was a mess. Scenario four starts now. Here we go. That was scenario four. And oh boy. Oh my God. That was nearly a disaster. Okay, I can try that one more time. Here we go. Scenario four. Let's see if I can get, I, I gotta get a good one. Wow, it's amazing how shiny. Wow, that is amazingly shiny in the lights. All right, oh, sorry. Scenario four. There we go, all right. So scenario four, four only happened for like a little brief moment there, but I hope you see what's going on. Right. I tried to make it constant, constant force. Oh my gosh, last time, last time I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh, last time. That, that, that's pretty good. So, do you see that it was going pretty fast and then what happened? It stopped, which means it was doing what? Slowing down. So, that might look like this. Because, see, I would, I would draw this on the board and write this stuff down if you were in here, but you're not here. So, I wrote it on pieces of paper, and then I'm showing it to you like this. So, that right there is what, how you might describe scenario number four. And then you will, again, sketch a motion map and a force diagram, naming your forces correctly. And, again, do you see the little bend I show there in the force probe that's contacting the car? Um, so, anyway... Make sure all four of those scenarios get sketched out. Force diagrams and motion maps for all of them. And then, once that gets done, uh, I'll probably do have to do a whiteboard video or something that explains and describes what, what you should have observed and seen in each of these scenarios. All right? Unless I do another video like this or something where I can just talk to you and then have stuff written out and show you. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work very well or not. But anyway, hey, those are the four scenarios. So we're talking about forces and how forces affect motion, right? That's what this whole unit, this whole unit is about forces and the impact of forces on motion. Got that? Hope things are going well for you. I do miss you all being here and us being here together and teaching and hanging out and telling stories and Trying to at least have a little bit of fun. So anyway, um, I hope things are going well where you are. And um, hopefully I'll see you all again um, in the fall or something. Um, so for those of you that haven't been checking your emails or classroom regularly, please, please do. It would really make life better for all of us.
if you did that. I, I'm asking, begging. All right, so anyway, your four scenarios, right there. Get them all done in your comp book, all right? I think the assignment actually will be for you to actually post pictures of those in, yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'll do. So that'll be the assignment. The assignment is actually to, to show me what you've written out in your comp book. You'll attach those pictures to the assignment on Classroom. Perfect. See you guys. Take care. Be careful.